Are we on? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Be Me On Air. <laughs> the staff don't care. Uh, okay. Whatever. I need to introduce the host, obviously. Miss Moon Ye Won, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, everyone. My name is Ye Won Moon. I am a Korean actress, and it's an um, honor for me to be with you on Be Me On Air, episode one. Thank Yay. You. Let's have fun. Should we wait a little bit for people to come in? I feel like if we talk to a room full of no people, there's like no point. <laughs> Send in a message because it's a lot, it'll be a lot more fun instead of just sitting here yeah. talking to ourselves. Feel free to join us. We are going to be talking about Clio, which is a brand in Korea that's very, uh, very famous. You also know it's really good because you often see it in makeup shops. Well, that one, I can prove it because, you know, like since I'm She's an, an actress, actress. <laughs> I go to the makeup shops like where uh, the professional makeup artists work. And I see a lot of Clio products there, mm -hmm. so I can prove that um, they use Clio products yeah. at the shop. But the thing is, they have so many products, which is like a good and bad thing. Good because the products are all good, but bad because there's so many options. But for you today, we kind of pared it down to a few. Okay, so what can we start with? I love how it's just welcome everyone, <laughs> smiley yeah. face. Does it say how many people are watching? Hold on, I want to see on my phone first. All if right. I can even access it. <laughs> Uh, okay. 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 Uh, it's gonna turn the so. I guess a lot of people are enjoying this. Right? Okay, that's good because I was like, nobody's talking to us and everyone hates us. First product, the Pro Eye Palette. This is, I guess, appeal. I guess if you're into it, is if you are a fan of red velvet, mm -hmm. they actually use these palettes for their eye makeup. Oh, really? On the Psycho music video shoot. But I mean, these were already popping before that anyway. But we have two colors here today. If the chat was working, I would ask everyone which one, because I'm going to do my makeup first, and then after I'm going to do your makeup. I was going to ask everyone to pick the color for pick, you. But nobody's talking to us, and I guess we're <laughs> boring and nobody cares. So <laughs> one is called Simply Pink, and Simply the pink. other one Coral Talk. Coral talk with your green blouse. I feel like coral top would look cuter. Using the pink, it wouldn't look right. So I'm gonna use the coral on I'll use the pink on me even though I'll just have a pink uh, shirt on today. Yay! It still <laughs> says, welcome everyone. <laughs> By the way, a brush in here, which is cute. You can do your whole eye makeup with a brush, but it is tiny. So I think it's better for like point makeup, like glitter or like shimmer. I think the brush is really soft. Some people have uh, tends to have very sensitive skin. Also, it makes it good for applying shimmer because sometimes using a really like something like this with a shimmer, it doesn't apply properly and it just goes all over your face. Thank you. Yeah, so I like to use like flat brushes like that to put shimmer or just my fingers. Okay, that's a nice tip. Thank you. <laughs> She's well, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because like I go to the shops before I go to work. I don't really do my makeup very often, so mm -hmm. I don't really know about this information. So mm -hmm. I'm learning a lot today. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I didn't pay her to say that. <laughs> what I like to do with like chunky glitter for the base, I like to use like a kind of shimmery color. I actually, had there is a little a little mirror here. Oh, this palette doesn't really have like a shiny base color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this color right here, mauvinga, kind of like a mauvey tone, and also mix this color so it's not too dark. And I'll get started. I'll be quick, Charlotte. I promise. Take your time. No, I want you to rush. Still says welcome everyone. <laughs> I'm wondering though, Charlotte, because you said you always go to the makeup shop. Makeup shop. When you go, like, what do you tell them? Like, you just eyeliner. <laughs> do you have a regular shop you always go to? Yeah, I do. Uh -huh. And it depends on the what occasion that I go to. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if I if I go there for like drama audition or movie audition, mm -hmm. I have a special like specific role that mm -hmm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. play with. Mm -hmm. So I imagine like what kind of makeup they're gonna they do. Would and like hairstyles, dedication, so dedication. Mm. I um, communicate with the makeup artist mm -hmm. and we do it. Mm, okay, okay. So it depends on the character that I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that's interesting because I didn't, I thought you'd just be like, oh, I just want a, like, a coral look, but you actually really think about it. Yeah, because I want to get the role. I'm wondering how mm -hmm. many colors are you like planning to apply on your eyes? For day, well, in general, for eyeshadow palettes, daily, maybe maximum three. But today, I don't want to put too many because if you put too much, well, one, if you have already have too much eyeshadow, uh -huh. you don't really see the glitter well. Okay. So I'm going to rely just on more like 
Umyeong shadow, like kind of contouring colors. Okay. Lately, what I've been doing is I'll put like just a base eyeshadow on my lid. Okay. And then, you know when they take the eyeshadow all the way around here? I don't really do that because I notice when I do that, it looks very like I did makeup. Okay. So what I do instead of here, mm -hmm. I actually just put it on the eye bag. It almost makes it look more natural oh. in a way. I have a question actually. Mm. I tend to like really like sparkling makeups, you know, like uh, there's a lot of shimmers, mm, but yeah. I'm not good at doing makeups. Uh -huh. When I see this kind of product, you know, they look really pretty and stuff mm. and I want to get it. After I get it, like I don't know how to really use it for a daily makeup. Mm. Um, are there any good tips? Well, yeah, well, I'm Miss Charlotte. Because for me, I like wearing glitter, like just on a daily basis. But I think the, the key thing to make it look more daily yeah. is just to make sure you're not using too many super dark colors. Like it's good for like more dramatic like eye makeup. I feel like sticking to like medium colors mm -hmm. with your glitters and shimmers. When you start using super dark colors, it makes your eyes look heavier, which is not bad, but it like makes it look more like night makeup, like party makeup. Mm -hmm. I use these as a base, right? And then maybe I'll probably just finish it with like a color like this and like mix it with this. And again, what is that in English? Shading. Yeah, shading. shading. Just on the outside. And then you can use your shimmery colors in the middle yeah. and all that. And I think that that way you can make it more wearable for daily. I think I've heard like when you put um, some kind of glitter shimmery uh, on the center of your eyelid, mm -hmm. it will make your eyes look Bigger. Rounder, yeah. It's catching the light in the middle, mm -hmm. and the sides look more dark, so they look more bad. So it looks more circle. Oh, I feel proud. I know something. She, <laughs> she's, she's getting there. And the chat still says welcome everyone. <laughs> Did you figure the chat out? <laughs> Is the chat working? Nobody? <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a wall. Myself, uh -huh. I think when I do like eyeshadow and not putting eyeliner, eyeliner, it makes my eyes look smaller and like swollen. I know, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Depending on your eye shape, because you don't always have to use eyeliner. You can use eyeshadow as well. Eyeliner? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eyeshadow to eyeliner. Hmm. You really just need like a sharp brush. I didn't bring my eyeliner brush, but you can actually just use this brush that's in um, the palette. palette. Yeah. And just take it on the end. You're kind of just shading where the, where you would put eyeliner. You're just okay. putting a shadow there. And for me, the goal is not, oh, make eyeliner. The goal is more just like a hint of eyeliner or something. Okay. Because even a little bit makes your eyes look much longer. And if I'm honest, what's the English word? If I put eyeliner, it looks like pudamsuro. Like it looks just... Too, mm, too looks, much? Too much. Yeah, it just looks too much. <laughs> Now, we're gonna go in glitter with Twinkle Pop. All right, but yeah. it's already like really look, looking good. Thank you, Charlotte. Just, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. However, we are experiencing some technical things, so we are gonna take a break real quick and we'll be right back. We're on now, right? right? So we're on on YouTube, I guess. Hello for the 50th time. Also, apparently we can't speak Korean during this live, which is going to be hard for me at least, because I always mix Korean. Well, same for me. <laughs> She's, as I was saying, Twinkle Pop, these glitters, these are... I was actually surprised because when I went to the Clio store, mm -hmm. they were like 2,001 each, and there were so many, so I literally, I bought all of them. But they do come in packs of three, so it's a little bit easier to choose. Because they, they asked me to choose a set, I really liked number three, Scarlet, actually no, number one, two, three. These sorts of glitters are actually different from other ones, like eyeshadow, because these are actually glitters. That camera's crispier than McDonald's. <laughs> is, Chris, is that good? The glitters yeah. are suspended in like this sort of gel. Can you suggest me any like good tips uh, when you're uh, applying this yeah. gel type? Because it's suspended like a gel, it's kind of wet. And if you use your fingers, actually, it stick. Well, one, it can stick to your finger mostly, but it, you can actually erase your eye makeup because it's wet. What I suggest doing is actually taking a brush like this, and what happens is the brush actually absorbs kind of some of that wet the moisture. Yeah, moisture, and you, what you're left with is mostly the glitter. A lot of times, there's in the cap, so I kind of just dip in there. There's several things you can do. I mean, you can put it in the inner corner which is like a thing. But sometimes I feel like if you put too much sparkle in the inner corner, it makes your eyes look like this. <laughs> I think this is no surprise, but I like to put mine just here. 
Bueno, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. What makeup would look good for someone like me that has more of a sharp look, if that makes sense? I have dark, big eyes, and short black hair, and more of a square head shape, like Min Hyuk. Oh. The thing is, with dark, a lot of people think all brown eyes are like the same, or even really, some people think black eyes are a thing, but there's no such thing actually as like black eye color. It's just a really deep, dark, dark brown. brown. So I think what's important is that you check, you go outside in the sun and like look right like into a mirror with the sun like almost in your eye and you can see the undertone of your eye Yeah. and kind of use makeup that kind of suits that undertone. I don't think it really matters so much like what kind of eye makeup, but it's more, I think more about like your hair color and your eye color. The color. Yeah, that's the most the important color thing. The color is the thing. Yeah. Oh, hello mom. My mom is watching. Hi mom. There's a lot of products here. I'm, I'm trying oh, to yeah. show as much as possible. The Twinkle Pop, this is one of them. Because I put so little on my eye, you can barely see it. But for Charlotte, I'm going to put a lot more. But for me, I can actually tell a difference. But I really like this on your eye. Oh, thank you. Thanks, I Charlotte. really do. It's, it's my just, taste. The thing is, because Charlotte gets her makeup done right. She always says, I'm not very good at makeup. And she always comes up with a very natural makeup. But she came up to me, she's like, I love... Like, like fancy, fancy party I was like, makeup, Honey, but you are the right person to be hanging out with me. But I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Two eyeliners from Cleo. Cleo has so many eyeliners and living in Korea for so long, I've noticed them always changing them. But the two that we have today- Twice. The main difference is that the size, there's the waterproof pen liner mm -hmm. from Cleo. And then we have the so simple waterproof pen liner. The main difference between the two basically is it's just the size of the pen. Because you were saying you have trouble drawing liner, so you like the smaller one. Mm -hmm. This is the smaller one. I've used the clear eyeliners mm. um, for myself, for my eyes. And the good thing about clear eyeliner that I can tell you is they stay very long. Honestly, Cleo does not want to come off. Yeah. I mean, I don't wear eyeliner, but sometimes, you know, you know, I don't know if this is you, but before you to, like wash your face, you like play around with makeup. Mm -hmm. So I'll like put all this crazy eyeliner on and Cleo just doesn't want to come off. Which is good because you want, obviously you don't want it to like fall here. Yeah, I way. want my eyeliners to stay all day long. <laughs> If we're talking about color makeup, and I'm not, I'm not just saying it's just because we're talking about it today, but I really do think this is a good place for both starters and people that love makeup already. Mm -hmm. Because I wish I could show you the other colors because, because these palettes are actually kind of more light, not really light, more like on the natural side. They have more like deep palettes, but you have a range, a good range of like mattes, both light and medium. And there's some deep matte shadows in there as well as glitters and shimmers. So I feel like this is a good place to start because you can go from daily to more Nighttime makeup? Like party makeup? Yeah, I, but I never, I never do nighttime makeup. Never, I do my makeup in the morning and I'm done. So there is eyebrows, but uh, we gotta take a break first. Cause I'm, I'm gonna do Charlotte's makeup. So for now, we're gonna take a- Short break. Short, very short break. Break in language. Oh, okay, we're on. Here, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be five minutes. Nope, it was like two minutes. <laughs> Someone asked, what eyeshadows do you recommend for darker skin tones? Uh, if we're talking about these palettes, they have another one that I really like, the brick one. Those have more, not just deeper colors, but more like saturated colors. When it comes to deeper skin tones, you wanna go for more color in them. If there's too much white in the shadow, it can look like, make your eyes look more like- Like glow swollen. And swollen, yeah. So with Coral Talk, let's see. There's a shade in here because I'm gonna put more glitter on you. I'm gonna use this kind of, it's very hard to see. I will show you on her eyes. You can barely see it, but very faint coral shade. It has like a gold undertone. I like to use those as a base for glitter, mm -hmm. like heavy glitter. So I'm gonna start here. <gasps> Poor Sujo, I like it already. I keep breaking the rules on here. I'm not supposed to be speaking Korean, but I just can't help it. Sorry, Amazon. So a lot of people avoid using shimmer for like, what is it? For like their base. And the thing is these days, because there's so many beauty YouTubers now, they're all trying to be unique. So they put more and more eyeshadows. Uh -huh. But now I think we're getting to a point where natural makeup is a little bit more popular. Yeah, so, I agree. I mean, we're showing you these eye palettes and we're like, oh, I'm trying to promote them. But these have a lot of really good colors for just like on those days where you just want one eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. I think these palettes are really good for that. Like what I was saying earlier, I don't like to put a color look up for me. Just right there. And I feel like that shades your eyes really nicely. Can't wait to see the edited version of this with like 60 vines. Oh my God, she is coming for me. But you're already pretty, so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use 
this shade just for a little bit more, um, I'm gonna like mix. I like to mix shadows a lot, because sometimes one might be too dark, one might be too light. And for this color, I'm just using it. Actually, no, that's not a very good color to use. Sorry. We're live, so I can't, we can't edit this if I mess up. Like I already did a lot during this live. She's live. Don't worry, I have two eyelids. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> Me wanting to buy everything but know where to go. I'm gonna be like super honest with you guys right now. I'm like doing this show, but I feel kind of bad as well because we're literally in the middle of a pandemic. I said this in my last video, like I'm talking about makeup, but like who's gonna buy makeup in the middle of a pandemic? Oh yeah. I guess you can think of this as like future reference. Okay. <gasps> I don't know, I love it. Charlotte is actually, smi if you know Smiley, who's been in my videos before, this is his sister. We met a long time ago on that commercial shoot. Yeah. And then I became friends with Smiley, and then later he was like, oh yeah, to meet my Nuna. I was like, who's your Nuna? He's like, oh. And he showed me a picture, I was like, oh my gosh. One day he comes up to me and he's like talking about Edward. I I met this new cool friend, I really like him. And he was You're like, <laughs> talking, about, talking about him. And I was like, <laughs> Wait, can you show me his picture? Uh, and I and I and I saw your picture. I was like, I know him. Yep. I, did, I did a commercial with him. That's me. So now we're gonna get into the glitter because <laughs> that's what we're here for. <laughs> Which one are you gonna use? Can you see that? We've got a more like cool tone white that has like blue undertones in in the glitter, a light warm pink, and then we have a more a more purple toned. Shut up. Why don't we ask the chat? Which one should we use? One, so two, three. Three, three, two, pink, one, two. pink, two, two. I think we should go with two, right? Two. Well, actually, someone asked, like, can you do more than one? Maybe we should try, like... Should we try? Should we do one, like... Two and three, because, like, half of them are calling for two, and half of them mm. are calling for three. <gasps> Good idea, Charlotte. So maybe we can do two and then three. Giving us that content we asked for. I used to be really into putting so much glitter on the egg inside, but it looks so, like... Ah, the Korean word is chonsuro. It looks so, like, two years ago. So what I do is literally just a little bit. Here. Can you see that? Mm. <laughs> but if you want to add a lot more, I'm trying to play Animal Crossing. Have you played Animal Crossing? No, no. Like well, I know the name, but I mm. try not to play any games because like once I started, like oh I go crazy. Girl, me. Try not to start any kind but of also, game. But also, she's canceled for not playing. Just kidding. <laughs> If you want to put more on the lid, I use a brush like this. I was looking at the website's like product page and they put a lot, they even put it here on their cheeks. Oh. So I know, yeah, let me. Very <gasps> Cleo, it looks like a Cleo photo shoot. <laughs> Doesn't she look like a cosmetics model? There's different, there's actually little hearts in here. They're all mixed in there, so you kind of have to dig for them. But now I have so much glitter on here. Ah, oh, there's one. Yeah, we, we got one. I don't know if you'll see it, though. <gasps> you know who you look like? You look a little bit like Nyan from Twice. I can't say anything. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> the thing I love about this color in particular is that purple... Purple can often be, any color can be warm or cool, but you, with makeup, you often see purple as like a cool tone shade. But I love how this purple is more of like a warm purple. It has those like gold undertones to it. It doesn't move throughout the day because it is, the gel, it, once it dries down, it doesn't really move. That's the good thing. It's just the only bad thing I would say is how hard it is to remove uh, if you don't have a decent eye makeup remover. Oh my God. If that ain't a party look. I put so much. <laughs> Can you tell a difference? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm really worried because I'm gonna like freaking mess up your eyeliner, but you actually already have eyeliner, which is good because it's a guide for me. <gasps> you saw it here, everyone, live right here on Beamy. I messed up her eyeliner. Moments later. I tiny though. I fixed it. He fixed it. It just looks really thick. Ah. Mm -hmm. I like to use the skinny one rather than the thick one because um, when you use the skinny one, you can um, draw like several times to 
like Perfect finish fit, your yeah. eye lines. But I think it depends because like I've seen some of my <laughs> friends like who like this thick one better than the skinny one because they say it saves time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it depends on like your preferences, I guess. Uh, my? Preference of which I say I'm not even gonna use. Mine's this. the skinny one. <laughs> okay, we see the pink brown liner on the other eye. There's actually this eyeliner here, which I think is a really unique color to have, which I was like living because it's like a really wow. pretty. The packaging makes it look like it's gonna be like a pink, but it's it's definitely a pink brown, but it has this depth to it, which is good for eyeliner, of course. You wanna try it? I'm gonna mess this up if I um, do it myself. Yes. On this side? Yeah. yeah, I can do it. More moments later. Me. Charlotte, we're supposed to be promoting these products. <laughs> I no, but like, I've been telling you, like, I've used this Cleo's um, eyeliners before, and the best thing about this, they stay very long. Very long. Also, if you make a mistake, that will stay very long. So. <laughs> um, there's this packet. <gasps> eyebrow packet. Mm. We forgot about the eyebrows. We both have our eyebrows drawn on already, actually, but I um, switch all the time between shadow for my eyebrows and pencil, but these, when I originally tried them like a long time ago, I was hooked on these for a long time because it's just so easy. Auto hard brow pencil, five shades. It's just a brow pencil, but it has this like kind of sword shape. Mm -hmm. So when you're drawing your brows, oh, I'm gonna break this. It is hard, so you kind of have to warm it up. And actually like these eyebrows, I've used this as well. Mm -hmm. And when you apply on your like eyebrows, like real eyebrows instead mm -hmm. of your hand, um, the color comes up more. Like you can see it more. Yeah, cause like your hand is like a drier than your face. Mm -hmm. It has like yeah. less oil. Maja. So when you like apply these eyebrows on your, on your face, um, you will have more color. Okay, of these eyebrows. Maja, yeah. You want to talk about the eyebrow pens? This? Yeah. Um, we have three types of <gasps> eyebrow tattoo pen. It's their tattoo line. Yeah. Because there is the, remember the trend of uh, eyebrow tints where you put it on and it dries and you peel it off? And you have like a tattoo eyebrow? Uh, eyebrow I know, tattoo. I know, but I've yeah. never tried it. This is kind of like that, except it's more like just a, you can think of it as like an eyeliner almost, but it's for your eyebrows. And basically you're supposed to use it on dry skin. Like you wash your face and don't put any moisturizer on. So when you open this box, there is this um, tattoo pen and there is remover, remover in it. Which is interesting because, I mean, if you're putting a tattoo eyebrow, why would you want to remove it? And um, this eyebrow pen, the, uh, the tattoo pen, has two sides. Mm -hmm. One side has like thicker sides. Like a chisel. Okay, Josh is too excited. She's like, and then one side, <laughs> one side is more like a sort of chisel, and the other end is a more sharp thing. It's kind of more sharp thing, more sharp shape to get like the kind of real brow hair looking thing. Leave it on, and then you can put your skincare on, and then you let it sit and it leaves you with like a tattoo that kind of stays for a few days. If you are the type that really hates doing their eyebrows, I think it's a really good option. I wanted to show you what it looks like having used it. This is from yesterday. I put it at night and this is what it is after it's, a majority of it has been washed off, but it turned out really well. Now I don't feel so bad about going out bare face because at least I have my brows on. But uh, Oh, the okay. staff is telling us to shut up and to finish. <laughs> that was Cleo. That was Charlotte. Are you going to come back with us next week? Um, She's like, no. <laughs> if you want me to, <laughs> I'll be glad to come here. To. Thank you so much, even though we had a little, little, roughy, little bit of a rough start. I think that was fun. It was really fun. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Edward. <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Annyeong. Annyeong.